Thailand? I said no, Taiwan. And then he said, Where is Taiwan? They still say Taiwan is Thailand, right? They still ask these basic questions. People knew about Made in Taiwan. They'd heard of that before. It could be just part of China or part of Thailand. How little people know about Taiwan, the situation, and, and when I try to explain what Taiwan is, I would tell them geographically where we're located. Tell them about like how. Uh, where we are and like which part of Asia it is. Try to explain the complicated geopolitical situation of why. What's the relations between you guys and China? I have to choose Taiwan or Chinese Taipei. Taiwan, Taifeng Jingma. There's a lot that I don't know. Taiwan is China, also isn't China. Don't explain so much about cross-strait relations and just the Chinese relationship. I have to do a lot of explanations about um, history. No matter how I explain it, not, they didn't understand. And then they, they, they often still look really confused. It's, it's hard actually. So I find it really hard. You can't really just explain Taiwan, Taiwan in one sentence. How do you explain that? You, you, you can't. If you had to describe Taiwan with one adjective, well, how would you describe Taiwan? Democracy. Dynamic. Tasty. 人情味，多元跟包容，善良，有情有义 ，surprising， undiscovered， surreal。Come Taiwan and you will know why a lot of foreigners love Taiwan. I just fell in love with the place. Very friendly place. You really can make a family anywhere in Taiwan. 那我觉得台湾人可能民族性就是这样吧，就是很热情。台湾人他是个很有包容性的民族。It really doesn't matter what country you're from. Minang culture, Chinese culture, Yuan Zhu Ming culture. You can see in Taiwan, see any culture, maybe from foreign, maybe from foreign, maybe from foreign. Really, can't call it a home, regardless of who you are. I've been accepted into their family. Admitting and accepting and developing the the culture. The different people can come in and improve this 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 tiny island. We really have a lot of freedom. And we live in a country that we enjoy freedom of, of speech, so we gotta use this uh, advantage, this privilege, to speak up. In democracy, for example, Taiwan is the first place in Asia to um, have same-sex marriage. That really touched me to see, you know, how people can disagree politically, but you know, still have some shared values and open to, to new ideas because, you know, Taiwan is a pioneer. Of being, you know, a very successful democracy in Asia, and showing that you can combine all those things. We have come to an era where internet has no borders. Taiwan story is really worth sharing, not just to report the news, but to actually discover a little more into what's the unique、uh, specialty about Taiwan. There's so much more that has to offer with its food and the people, and especially fine arts. And there's a great development in sports coming up. And I think as voices elsewhere in Asia are being silenced, our country was not as you know properly represented as much as it was deserved.、Um, one of my big passions has been to go around and record unique sounds throughout Taiwan and share those sounds, voices, and stories with a larger audience throughout the world.